In this video, we will talk about fingerprints. Fingerprints are made by tiny ridges that are present on the tips of your fingers. Fingerprints are scientifically and medically very important as no two people in the world can have similar fingerprints. Fingerprints of an individual are totally unique. Fingerprinting rests on three key principles. The principle of consistency means that an individual's fingerprints does not change in his lifetime. The principle of uniqueness means that it's statistically impossible that two individuals will have similar fingerprints. Then the principle of reliability which means that we can use fingerprinting for various purposes such as forensics, biometrics and it can also be used for differentiating between populations as scientists believe that the distribution of various fingerprint patterns varies from population to population. On the basis of the patterns that these ridges make on the tips of the fingers, we have different types of fingerprint patterns. We will discuss them one by one in this video. On the basis of the patterns that the ridges make on the tips of the fingers, we have different types of fingerprint patterns. These patterns are distinguished on the basis of presence or absence of triradii. A triradii is a point which can be located at the meeting point of three ridge systems which are opposing each other. As you can see, triradii is a point where ridges moving in three different directions meet. A triradii is most often characterized by a point called delta. First of all, we will discuss about arches. Arches are the rarest type of fingerprint patterns found in human populations. They are also the simplest type of fingerprint patterns. In an arch, the ridges move from one direction to the other direction, from one side of the finger to the other side of the finger, making a mound in the center. An arch does not have a triradii. Arches can be distinguished into two types. One is called the plain arch, another is called the tented arch. They are distinguished based on the flatness of the curve of the ridges entering from one side to the other. In tented arch, the ridges make an upright thrust at the center as you can see. The second type of fingerprint pattern is called loop. Loops are the most commonly occurring fingerprint patterns. In a loop, the ridges originate from one side of the finger then curve around before exiting towards the other side of the finger. A loop always has one triradii. A loop is further divided into two types depending upon the direction of the opening of the ridges, which can be either radial or ulnar. If the ridges open towards the little finger, then it's called as ulnar loop. In case the ridges open towards the thumb, then they are called as radial. The third type of fingerprint pattern is called a whirl. Whirl comprises the second predominant type of fingerprint pattern in terms of occurrence after loops. In a whirl, the ridges curve around a point called core in the form of concentric rings or in the form of spiral rings. A whirl has always two triviridae on the two sides of the finger. Now we will discuss the composite fingerprint patterns. As you can see, there are three types of composite fingerprint patterns. The central pocket loop, the double loop, and the accidental. 
The central pocket loop pattern consists of a whirl embedded in a loop formation. A line drawn between the delta will not intersect a circle. As you can see on the left side of the screen, a central pocket loop is a whirl but with ridges moving in one direction, which can be either radial or ulnar. A double loop contains two loops in opposite directions, as you can see on the screen. A fingerprint pattern which does not resemble any of these patterns is called as accidental. After watching this video, we hope that you will be able to identify your fingerprints.